Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today um, I have a video on how to create your own custom cryptocurrency for beginners. Um, for this um, tutorial we're going to do it on the Waves platform. Uh, Waves is an open source blockchain platform that allows users to launch their own custom cryptocurrency tokens. It includes the functionality in its core software and wallet where you can create, transfer, and exchange blockchain tokens on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, paying transaction fees in the native Waves token. So Waves is probably the easiest and most affordable way to have a live blockchain with your own custom uh, cryptocurrency. Um, Waves serves as a f the, the token Waves serves as the fuel for all the operations on the Waves network. And... Um, there's a fixed supply of 100 million Waves tokens and the transaction fee for Waves or tokens transfers is 0 0.001 Waves. So, and it costs one Wave token to create a new token, a custom token on the, the network. So um, whenever you do any sort of transaction, even with a custom token, you need um, the Waves token to... Uh, to pay for it, similar to Ethereum. So let's get started by going to wavesplatform.com and go to cl get client. Now you do need Google Chrome to do this, so you gotta install Google Chrome first. And then click launch app. And then we're gonna create a new account. So I'm gonna create a test, a dummy account just to go through um, the whole process and then later on I'm gonna black it out and create uh, another account where the keys are hidden and so you'll see what I mean in a minute so click new account and then click read this and then click understand so this is your seed your wallet seed um, if you ever have to restore your account you will need this and this is your address but this is a throwaway account so we're just gonna put test and a password twice and then click register oh two week let's make it still two week ah okay let me try this there you go so this is basically your Waves wallet. As you can see in here, you can hold multiple types of fiat and multiple types of uh, cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Zcash, and of course the native Wave. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Well, we'll, we'll go through a couple things. One, this, if you need to back up your wallet, this is your seed, your seed encoded, your private key, and your public key and the address. So you would like to, uh, you should copy this, put it in a safe area, uh, don't give it out. Otherwise, whatever you have in here um, is open to everybody or whoever gets a hold of it. But we'll close this. Um, preferences, not available yet. Um, your profile. But, um, and your address here. But let's uh, close out, and I'm going to black it out again, and or again, I'm just going to black it out and create another uh, coin um, address on the network uh, so that we can uh, do the tutorial. Um, one moment here, as I put a new account, get the seed save it in a special place and register it okay okay here we go Let me unblack this out. There we go. 
Okay, as you can see, we have no waves, so we are not able to um, create a token without, we need a minimum of one wave token. So I'm gonna send one from another account. So I'll just copy this address and go to another screen where I can send, I'm gonna send two waves over. And I'm submitting it now and we're gonna see just how long it takes. Okay, two waves were submitted. We're gonna check. So, hey, there you go. We see the incoming. So transactions are, are very quick is what I notice with waves. I, and that's the nice part about this network. So incoming transfer, it's not, oh, there it is. It's showing we got two waves in uh, and now we can create our custom crypto currency token. So let, let's go to, we can see the history here. Let us go to the tokens creation tab. So we're gonna call this, I'm gonna call this Crypto Explorer. And then I'm gonna give it a des description. Uh, crypto token for the Crypto Explorer. Explorer YouTube channel. Make sure I got the spelling correct. I uh, did a test of this earlier and I misspelled it. So we're going to give it 100 million tokens. So 100, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to tell it, make it like dollars and cents. So we'll give it two decimal places. But putting two. So you can see the description over here. So we have a supply of 100 million, two decimal po uh, places. So we can have um, basically less than a, less than a, um, less than one. You can have like 0 0.25, 0 0.1. Over here, there's, um, it's asking if it's reissuable. So reissue, well, let's do the highlight here. Reissuability allows for additional token creations that will be added to the total supply of the asset. Non-reissuable assets will be permanently limited to the total token supply defined on this process. So for this purpose is, um, we're not gonna make it reissuable, but um, there may be um, folks wanting to create their own tokens to make it reissuable. Like say for instance, if they are creating a token to represent, um, uh, voting chairs and for some reason um, their organization um, grows to a, a point where they need more tokens um, to um, reflect a better uh, percentage of the shares um, they could reissue it but because this is basically this token that I'm creating is just for fun um, I'm not gonna make it reissuable so we're gonna click submit and then we're going, it's gonna ask us to confirm. This is the asset name. And we're gonna say confirm. So it has been issued. So let's check it out on the, one. We just gotta wait a little bit But there you go. So it's on the network. It's uh, getting it all set up. 100 million of this token. We can uh, get more details if we want on it. Once it's complete, we're gonna see this digital asset a part of our wallet. So let's go over here still going. I'm doing this live because just so you can understand and kind of see the transaction times on this. Okay. While it is going, 
should be finished anytime soon. Okay. It will show up in here, whatever assets you create, because I have two waves. Well, I'm going to have one afterwards. Um, there you go. So now I only have one waves. And then over here, we see um, latest transactions. But over here, we see the digital assets. This is my crypto currency that I made. We can click details. This is the identifier and I'll show you why it would be helpful later. Um, and description. And just little information about it. So now that I have this uh, uh, this digital asset, this uh, cryptocurrency, um, I can transfer any amount of this to anyone who has a Waves wallet. So um, to do that, I'm going to click Transfer. Then I'm going to put the address of my other wallet here. And then say, uh, I want to give this person 1,000 of this digital asset. Now, this fee does not come from your custom cryptocurrency. This fee comes from your whatever Waves tokens that you hold. So when I click transfer, and we can put an attachment like gift for you. When I click transfer, it's going to ask me to confirm. So you see I'm sending 1,000 Crypto Explorer with 0 0.001 waves as a fee. Click confirm. And we're going to look. Hopefully, actually, let's check the Here we go. Nope. Oh, transactions. There you go. I always get confused with these uh, tokens. So it's 1,000 is going out. And while that's going, let's see if I can add. Another window capture here. Okay, right. I think it went out. Yep, outgoing transfer 1000. I'm going to quickly check my other wallet. And I've received 1000. Uh, crypto, uh, whoops, crypto explorer tokens. So, uh, as you can see, it took out from here the balance. So, one uh, waves token, I can basically do roughly a thousand transactions um, or on the, this custom cryptocurrency with one token. And let's go over here. So now that this token, you know, somebody has it, um, there's you can also trade your tokens on their own exchange, their decentralized exchange. So over here, you just see these waves to BTC. You can actually go waves to. Uh, you can actually type it out. Now, and then go here. Now, if there's another one with that name, you want to, um, let's go here. Where is it? Okay, here we go. You want to give this, this identifier. This is a unique identifier. Um, there could be possibly down the road another person who makes a token with that same name. So if you had the unique identifier, and let's paste it in here.
Oops. We can see we have Crypto Explorer Waves. So if we wanted to, um, we could um, buy and sell this token. Wait, let me just double check here. Oh yeah, there it is. That is odd. There are orders here, which is kind of interesting because I just created this. So anyway, um, you could, I probably got to check on this later, but that's pretty much it. That's, um, you could use this to um, uh, probably good way to learn about cryptocurrencies in a cheap way. I don't know. Um, just something fun to do, something to uh, mess around with. And if you're new to cryptocurrencies, um, it's a easy way to uh, get in and figure out how it works and how to do transfers and how to see a little exchanges work. You could probably do it internally with with uh, people you know to to just get familiar with how cryptos work. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.